<laughs> uh, so one, of the, one of the researchers responsible for AC11 and, and the uh, line of products that we have here with BHIP, uh, the DNA repair line of products, the Activar skin creams, the Purple Plus, the IO, the caps, uh, we've got the strips. Uh, he's the man behind the research, man behind the patents. You hear me reference him all the time when we're talking about that product line, and we've got him here live with us today. So, Dr. Worth, we're, we're very, very happy to have you here with us, and thanks for taking time to join us. Um, my pleasure. Um, if you could, could you just take a few minutes and kind of give us, give us an update, uh, what I guess the latest and greatest going on with, with AC11 and your research? Well, we're, we're doing a lot of things right now developmentally that uh, have a lot of legs to it. Part, part of, uh, got done with work yesterday afternoon early, went down to Baltimore for a uh, celebrity event, uh, a charity, for, uh, and it's a variety of professional athletes. And a lot of these guys are getting behind this stuff because they're, whether they're retired or now just becoming weekend warriors or had a career filled with uh, just a lot of trauma to the body's oxidative stress and they're worn out and don't feel like whether it's bowling or fishing or golfing or football or basketball uh, due to aches and pains and some of these guys are in the last say third of their career and they're all getting with the purple plus purple caps there you go I'm getting a little delay but that's okay <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was there, you know, an after hour party, and you, you know, last night about three in the morning in Baltimore. So if I look a little tired, it was a uh, it was a late evening. But what we're doing is uh, we're working with groups of people that, whether they're doctors in hospital settings, whether they're research settings, uh, whether we're going to get into some uh, pediatric medicine. Uh, using purple plus, purple caps, or geriatrics. I mean, there's a whole host of applications. So over the last year and a half or so, I've been spending a lot of time with a lot of people that are, you know, have the backgrounds to appreciate the science and then also have the ability to apply this in their practices into hospital settings. I mean, it's, it's really getting pretty uh, interesting. And none of this would be happening if people weren't getting the phenomenal results with a product. So again, it's like right now we're, we're in the midst of kind of designing the next phase of research. We just finished one study that's going to be published shortly, and it's more about hairless mice and how along with uh, sunscreen, the uh, TT dimer, the, the DNA damage to the skin that causes things like skin cancer ultimately and things of this nature, with very positive results in this study, and it's more of a topical application why the internal use of the, uh, AC11 and AC11 based products and the external use uh, have re really profound effect effects on the quality of the skin. And so we, and we're doing it with some of the top dermatologists in the world. I mean, we're, these are very serious studies, and we're taking very serious looks at things and as we've uh, with some of the foundations and research that I've been dealing with lately you know I'm demonstrating all 15 endpoints of research that we've studied to demonstrate DNA damage and repair and the 10 patents we get involved discussing so as all this stuff expands we're bringing in a broader and broader base of credibility through major universities in this country and major university hospitals and individuals that are medical doctors that had, again, different foundations or different research uh, groups that are all getting on the wagon. So some of these are near the uh, beginning of involvement over the last few months, and some of them have been going on for a while. But the, the point is people get introduced to the science. They get introduced to the products. The Purple Plus, Purple Caps specifically are based on research we did in the mid-'90s called Nicoplex when we added AC11 to it. It became Nicomed, and it's just all the additive value with uh, these products for, say, like anti-inflammation, repair, things of this nature. And so when people get on these products, and they've, they're, they're medical people, and they've had access to everything in their lives, and all of a sudden they start using natural products that are turning around lifelong conditions, they become very interested. So that's kind of what's generating a lot of the new research, The uh, again, the compressed research we have on the 45 or so published uh, and unpublished studies are is 
every single thing we've studied points to enhanced repair. And I think I've told you before, Dallas, that the latest study we did with the VA, which was the third in the line of auditory studies, simply shows a new pathway, which is that we're upregulating, we're increasing the DNA repair proteins that are necessary for DNA repair enzymes to function. So we're increasing them in the cytoplasm of the cell and also in the nucleus and also in the mitochondria, meaning DNA exists in the nucleus and in the mitochondria, and we're all an expression of our DNA. So the more pristine we keep the condition of the DNA, the slower we age, the more energy we have, the better we feel, and um, disease processes are put off indefinitely. You know, I mean, it depends how you take care of yourself and what your specific genes are. But you certainly leverage your life and the functionality of your life. Oh, thank you for sharing that. I, I, real quickly, I'd love for you, because uh, I, I know I've heard this story. I don't know if everybody in the room has or anybody has, quite frankly. Um, when you talk about your mom, I know she was, she's been uh, one of your first test subjects since you got involved uh, with AC11, I think even prior to that. And I love hearing the story kind of about your mom and her results and, and this, the fact yeah, that... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're actually getting about 200 uh, friends and family members together next Sunday to celebrate her 90th. And this is a woman who's had 10 children, finished a graduate degree after 10 kids and taught for 15 years. So when she got to be about 75, she was aging pretty much at the same rate as, or as her peers. Um, fast forward 15 years from the pilot batch is utilizing this stuff. Uh, she's power walking three to five miles a day, uh, hits the gym twice a week for weight training, twice for aerobics, runs a hospice, uh, uh, is on the board of a major charity in the county, and just has a very full active life. And I get her on the phone and it sounds like I'm in high school uh, talking to this woman. I mean, she's just full of life, on point, uh, you know. She's, she's got life by the towel. And this is what we're talking about as far as increasing the functionality. You know, it's, for the most part, I think we'd all much rather have terrific quality, whatever the duration of our life is. And if you can improve the functionality and the quality of your life, and in the process that increases the duration, then so be it. We're really, you know, even though we have some data that shows we increase the longevity, that it's, to me, that's fool's gold if you don't change the quality of life, if you don't change the functionality of life. You're just living longer and suffering longer, and nobody wants that. People want better lives. They want better quality lives. So she's, uh, she's a ball of fire. She wakes up and uh, you know, does her 6.45 a.m. mass with her friends every day. They go to McDonald's and kicks it off, and off she goes. She's, uh, she's an inspiration to everybody at the health clubs that she's at. I mean, she's, you know, they're all in their 20s and 30s and 40s working out and, you know, Got a 90-year-old woman pushing them. It's pretty, uh, a little different. But the point is, it's like if we take care of our DNA and if we, when we ingest, for example, AC11 in the intestines, all the healthy bacteria will convert these actives into essential amino acids and energy compounds. You know, the only other way to get essential amino acids in the body, for example, would be to eat a steak or eat chicken. Be sufficient and efficient in breaking it down all the way to the point where you're getting amino acids and then have a strong enough system to assimilate these. Through using AC11, we upregulate the production of these in the gut by healthy bacteria and the body is kind of self-regulating this and that's where a lot of the repair comes in. That's where a lot of the collagen building, you know, if, but people on these products, uh, Dallas would notice the uh, hair, skin and nails, they grow at a much faster rate uh, and that's all collagen and protein synthesis. So those are... Uh, you know, little little side benefits, but those are ways to tell, you know, the product's working for you because you're cutting your nails three times in a month versus once. This is all protein synthesis. The energy compounds, the nicotinamide, NAD, and ATP, all increase the ability of the body to produce energy. So what we're getting with the professional athletes, and we have a lot of cyclists on this too, they'll go out for an hour and a half, and in that hour and a half, they either do an extra five, six, seven, ten miles, or what they used to ride in an hour and a half, they're now riding in an hour and 15 minutes, and they say, I don't understand it. The next day, I'm not sore and I'm not fatigued. And this is the recovery, the repair we're talking about. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of women that have uh, been involved with uh, through this the, the company where, you know, as far as sharing stories. And they've had significant hip injuries or tears within the lab, labrum, and 
these are significant injuries that take a long time to heal and after years of not healing sufficiently and they can't be active within about two months utilizing the product healing takes place and they go back to full activity so again what we're trying to do is leverage your own natural ability to heal and repair yourself and just give you more of the stuff that allows that to happen all right I've got and that's a uh, awesome testimonial by the way I love this story about your mom I've got a few questions here now uh, some of the people in the audience. How can this help someone with type 2 diabetes? Well, I think it, hello? I just lost sound. You hear me? Yep. Okay. Here. We can hear you. Okay. Um, it's really not, you know, again, what we're really focusing on is health. We're focusing on energy production, tissue repair, and what goes with that. If you could do one thing, and this is the stem cell researchers say this, the, uh, the uh, immunologists say this, everybody who's out there looking at all different types of cells in the body are saying the same thing. If you could do one thing to improve your health, that would be fine to, to find a way to increase your DNA repair capacity because that's the driver of health and disease. So, you know, what we're doing when you get into specific endpoints like arthritis or adult onset diabetes or all these different things, it usually comes as a consequence of diet and also damage to genes that now they start to express in a faulty way as opposed to being uh, opposed to being 20 years old and expressing health and energy you know maybe now you're 45 50 and there's a lot of damage accumulating and this starts to express given the factors of the diet into blood sugar issues so we didn't develop this for adult onset diabetes, but what we do find is the use of these products uh, through some of the mechanisms where AC11 works is it helps people get more nutrition through the cell membrane and we improve cell membrane viscosity, uh, phospholipid and cholesterol membrane. So you get more nutrients into the cell and you get better signaling between cells, cell to cell communication. So these are things that you tend to lose with say a high processed food or a high uh, hydrogenated fat type diet. So when you have these things, yes, everything starts to improve in your life. And we just don't target, you know, I, I like to say if it's not broke, we can't fix it. But if it is, expect to get some good results. Uh, and so in this case, I would say that over time utilizing these products, uh, you've got a few cofactors in here for DNA repair uh, enzymes, but they're also involved in things like insulin sensitivity. So you would find that by increasing insulin sensitivity and not pumping out as much in response to sugar in the blood, you're just going to be better off. But again, we're really focused on systemic health and energy. And when people two months after or a month after being on the product say, you know, my blood sugar is normalizing, my blood fats are getting better, my blood pressure is normalizing, all these wonderful things, that's all a function of better cell expression, better cell to cell communication and some repair taking place at a cellular level. So it's, it's not the end point so much as the process. It's almost as if uh, you looked at the top of the pyramid and if you could impact health at the very tippy top, everything downstream is going to benefit. And that's what starts to happen with these products. And that's why we have so many medical people around this country and literally around the world uh, interested in what we're doing. Uh, Dr. Worth, another question. When you talk DNA repair, what part of the strand is being repaired? And what about the building blocks? I, uh, I, you kind of cut in and cut out halfway through the first part. Okay. When you talk DNA repair, what part of the strand is being repaired? Uh, the, 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 entire, the entire strand. And within each cell, approximately, if we could uncoil this ball of string called DNA, um, you have about six feet of DNA if you could stretch it out end to end. And that's just within one cell. We've got seven to 10 trillion cells in the body. So there's a ton of DNA. We have a natural inherited evolutionary process that self heals. And this is DNA repair. And so we deal with single strand breaks, double strands. We deal with a host of issues that deal with, uh, you name the DNA repair enzyme, we will over you know, a period of four to six weeks, we show that we increase you know, 15 to 25 percent in activity with all these enzymes, and they're all working in concert. But what we also do is we inhibit NF-kappa beta, 
uh, which is a, when, it's, when overexpressed, it leads to a lot of inflammation in the body. And inflammation is the primary cause of oxidative stress. So if you have all this oxidative stress driving uh, DNA damage and cellular damage, and so and we give you a little repair enhancement, that would be nice, but you're not going to get the, the, the impressive results you get with these products the, unless you can at the same time decrease the cause of the new damage, minimize that, while the body is more efficient at uh, going on with self-repair. So it's it, the entire strength. I mean, you know, trying to isolate this. Uh, it's, all, it's all contained within the studies. Anybody that wants to look at the research, it's there. Okay. Um, real quick, too. I mean, we're obviously, we're not scientists in this room. We're more marketing salespeople. Um, what, what would be your top talking points? You're out talking to somebody about DNA repair. I know a lot of times I, when I first start the conversation, their eyes kind of glaze over. They look like it's science fiction. I mean, what, what's a way to kind of succinctly bring it home for them, why it's important for them, and why our product is the one that they should use? I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, last night while I'm out at this uh, celebrity bowling, there's probably about 1,500 people on uh, an alley of 15 lanes, including uh, people that are professional bowlers, and uh, one who just retired, not retired, but he went into the Hall of Fame at 45 years old. He's a top bowler. I won't give his name. Uh, bowlers would know who he is. And so here's this guy who's got tendonitis, problems with his elbow, problems with his left knee, aches and pains from throwing a bowling ball that weighs 18 pounds, I don't know, several million times over the last 25 years. And loves the game, understands the game, wants to do it, but his body doesn't hold up. So when I'm speaking to him and I get that type of information, now I can relate to him how this is effective. Okay, I'm going to give you the long answer and the short answer. And um, so what, what happens is uh, he'll be on the products. He's going to do the U.S. Open and Bowling at the end of July, and uh, he'll be on the, the Purple Plus and Purple Caps till then. And, and, you know, his inflammation will come way down. He'll get more specific healing. We went through a, a few things with diet. You know, his diet's within order. So, you know, overall, he will feel so much relief, so much power, between energy repair and the collagen building and the anabolic nature of these products that, uh, you know, he'll probably play for another several years. Now, there are other athletes there, a uh, guy who has his on an ESPN2 type show who does fishing. Now, you don't think about fishing being wear and tear unless you fish it every day of your life. There's a lot of wear and tear on your body. So this guy's got a different set of aches and pains and a different set of issues. So when I'm talking to him, I'm talking about how these products apply to him. But when you're really talking to people about DNA repair, all, all we're really simply saying is uh, with AC11 and these purple products is that we're improving your energy, your ability to perform, and your ability, ability to recover from performance. So repair is essentially healing. We all, as long as we got a pulse, our body has a mandate. That's to self-heal. And what we've got to all do is find different ways to leverage the things that are in our life, the, put more of the right stuff in, in our bodies that help heal and less of the wrong stuff that accelerate aging and disease and death. So it's, it's kind of a twofold combination and since exercise is such a critical role and what's great with dealing with a lot of these athletes is they, they know their bodies because they've had to know them. You know, they, they had to learn them to understand to be consistent in sports whether it's basketball, football, baseball, whatever. And when they start utilizing these things, it's all of a sudden giving them leverage, the ability to stay strong, be strong. You know, uh, we talk about UV damage from the sun and TT dimer damage to the skin and accelerated aging. Well, that's all UV damage. When you fly every day, that's all UV damage at uh, 40,000 feet. It goes right, the, the solar rays go right through the shell of the plane, and you're getting a lot of UV damage from the sun. Even though you're not getting a sunburn, you're getting UV damage to the cells. That's a lot of jet lag. Well, if you increase your weight of repair and you travel a lot, you don't get the jet lag, and you don't have as long to recover and repair when you land. So for professional athletes that are on the road all the time, it's significant. I mean, this is a massive advantage. Um, Day-to-day -day stuff, it's just literally leveraging your ability to feel better in your own skin, you know? I mean, because you're self-healing, you're producing more energy, you're creating a space that just allows you to function better. Just whatever it is that you're doing, you know? You're more productive because if you're at the work, if you're at the workplace, you feel better, so you're more productive. You don't have a headache, a stomach ache, 
you're not, you know, whatever that isn't allowing you to be your best. And this stuff really puts you in a space that allows you to, you know, uh, in, in a bigger sense, contribute a lot more to your, your life, your family, and the people around you. No, it makes it makes perfect sense because I've heard you and you said it today. I've heard you say it before. DNA sits at the top of the pyramid, so anything that positively affects that strand of DNA is going to positive positively affect the rest of our system. So we're, we're all you, what you see in the mirror, I see in the mirror, and everyone else sees in the mirror is an an outward external expression of the condition of the DNA in our cells. If we're six years old, we look like a six year old. If we're sixty years old, you you might look sixty, you might look forty, you might look eighty. Because by then, it depends on the exposures you've had through your lifetime, what you've done, what your enzymatic repair, how efficient your enzymatic repair system is. You know, when you see people that are professional golfers in the sun, on a senior tour, you see these guys on interview, their skin's leathered. I mean, they're 55 plus, and they've had crazy damage to their skin over a 40-year period. So that's DNA damage in a, in a massive endpoint. Um, we are putting some stuff out that's going to be more specifically targeted these guys, for these guys so that they don't have so much damage as they get older because the damage isn't, it's, it's one thing to look like you have leathery skin, it's another thing to dramatically increase your things for skin cancer, uh, you know, that the uh, odds of getting it. No, absolutely. One's more aesthetic, the other one's actually detrimental to your health. So I've got a question here. Someone wants to know uh, the effects of AC11. On, uh, on brain damage, somebody that's had a brain injury? Well, it, it hasn't been studied for that. Uh, when we did some of the auditory research, what we looked at is chemotherapy drugs that induce hearing loss and brain injury. And we looked at this in animals, and what you will see is that the chemotherapy drug that induces hearing loss and brain damage, uh, the AC11 based group, had a lot of that tissue damage and cellular damage uh, recover and repair. We will look at that. I mean, that's one of the things we want to look at within uh, the NFL because they have massive issues. You know, there's guys that are in their 40s that are using our stuff that are ex-NFL players that had a lot of head trauma that are acknowledging they're getting a lot of benefit from this. But we haven't studied it. So the fact that there's a, a lot of smoke there, we will uh, spend a little time probably with the league and other places looking where the value is uh, for this because remember in these auditory nerve cells there's only one method and it's the same with uh, uh, visual nerve cells, uh, uh, ocular nerve cells, brain cells they, they have one method or mechanism for repair and these are DNA repair pathways so either you do it or you don't and when it comes to these auditory pathways there's no other way to repair it except through these DNA repair pathways these are auditory nerve cells they terminally differentiate when we're born they need to last us a lifetime when they get past 40, 45 percent damage, they can't self-repair anymore. So what we're finding is that, yeah, we're, with the use of AC11, we're significantly improving these pathways for these cells to repair. So a lot of musicians and different people I know that are in their 50s that have had damage through hearing, through rock and roll, and their whole thing, music their whole life, are and had to start tuning their music and adjusting their studios all electronically because they couldn't hear it anymore, are now back to hearing it. Now, we need to do a lot more research in that area. We've only done three studies. But there's a lot of uh, value that we're showing where you would look at pathways and you look at endpoints, and in both we're seeing really positive results. And you froze. <laughs> Can you hear me? La la la. La la la. Dallas, I can't hear you. Can't tell if you know I'm on.
There we go. Here we go. All right. Can you hear me? I don't know if that was you or me. <laughs> uh, probably our end. I apologize. Hey, I've got, uh, and you were just talking about hearing, which is a perfect segue. I've had a few people ask questions. What uh, was that? Uh, hearing. You were, you were Sorry, talking about please. hearing. <laughs> All right. You got me. Nice. <laughs> By, by the way, I'm one of those old musicians too. That you're just talking about, but um, sorry. People have questions about the Department of Defense study. We've all heard about it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could give us a little more detail, maybe the history on it, where it's at now. You cut out when you said something study. Which study? Uh, the Department of Defense, I believe. Uh, well, that's the, that's the VA. The work we're doing on auditory. Ah, <laughs> what's that? We're here. We hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, those are the auditory studies we're working on, and we will get into. We're we're working something out with the VA, but we will get into something I believe in the near term uh, that has soldiers involved and a host of factors. I mean, one of the amino acids, for example, that we upregulate is tryptophan. Tryptophan is a precursor for serotonin. And in the 90s, tryptophan was the rage because everybody felt good taking it until a contaminant got in the pipeline. Um, but now your own body's producing it with the use of AC11. A lot more tryptophan and serotonin, which makes you feel better. You get better sleep cycles. You're in a better mood, better humor. Uh, and with the, with the vets, you know, something that kind of doesn't really get talked about much in this country, but 18 ex-soldiers per day kill themselves. And... It's, you know, it's really not acceptable. They've just been exposed to too much in life, and they can't live with it. But a lot of it is the exposures and the immune suppression from being in the field, and we're phenomenal when it comes to immune enhancement with this, and maybe that's another conversation. But uh, what happens is when the serotonin's up, you know, you're in a better mood, and if you're in a better mood and you're in better space, uh, you know, the natives used to use Unkari in the jungle, the shamans, for spiritual healing. It's these pathways that were driving the spiritual healing. It's like you wake up in the morning, you feel great. The sun's coming up, you're excited. You're not waking up and going, oh, shit, I got to go to work. I got this. I got that. I got to go to this appointment. I got to take it. You know, it's, it's, it, you're just in a much better shape when you wake up and you're, you're ready to take on life as opposed to you're already feeling overwhelmed before your feet hit the floor. And, and that's what some of the value where the energy you know, it's like when you're depressed, you have low energy. You never see people with high energy depressed. It's always people with low energy that are depressed, okay? And there's reasons for that. And it's the same with uh, tryptophan and serotonin pathways. You know, it's like the higher level you have with things like serotonin. Uh, and all the serotonins where we're producing the tryptophan, all this most, oh, not all, but most of them, the serotonin receptors are in the gut or in the intestines. So we're having factories, little healthy bacteria producing tryptophan, getting converted in the gut to serotonin, and it's right there. It's like delivered right to the site where it needs to be. So you'll find that uh, you just feel better. You know, I mean, it's, it sounds simple, but it's, it's complicated uh, biochemistry that's going on. But these are, again, evolutionary pathways. We, we got here due to these types of pathways because it was just based on food. We never would have made it <laughs> for a lot of reasons, for a lot of reasons. Uh, Dr. Worth, when you're, when you're working with athletes, uh, what kind of dosage are they taking? Is it higher than what we would normally take uh, well, for using an ounce a day of Purple Plus, for instance? We, we studied AC11 to be 350 milligrams per day for a 150-pound person. That, that was the initial animal data, and then we put that's what we put in the human studies, and that's where we see efficaciousness. We, efficacy. We... Uh, doubled it to 700 milligrams for the same weight, and there's a little bit more benefit, but you get the vast majority of the benefit at 350 milligrams. The athletes, when you get a lineman who's 320 pounds, he's using two ounces a day of the Purple Plus and two uh, caps per day, two of the Purple Caps per day, to get enough of the AC11. And, uh, you know, there's too many testimonials there, and in the near term, I'd say probably by the fall, you'll start to hear and see more of this and have a lot more availability through your network to promote and bring people in so they understand the value, uh, you know, and what it means to, you know, take care of your body and, you know, leverage it with this type of uh, nutritional technology. Okay, so, so about 350 milligrams per 150 pounds is the recommended dosage. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's kind of the sweet spot where you're going to get 80 plus percent of the value. Okay. 
Okay, in the purple caps though, we put in probiotics because here's the deal. Uh, the probiotics are the things that convert some of our actives in the gut. A lot of people go through, especially as they get older in life, they're going through a lot of different drugs that destroy bacteria in the gut, antibiotics, a host of things, uh, alcohol, all these things disrupt the intestinal flora, stress, wear and tear, aging, suppressed immune system, all this stuff. So we wanted to make sure with the purple caps you're getting more probiotics. We can't assume that everybody's eating yogurt every day and sour kraut and sour foods to get all these healthy bacteria in. So that's why they're in the purple caps, to ensure that you're getting the conversion of these actives in the gut into more building blocks to you know build your body, make you strong. What, what's the difference between AC11 and other? Because there's a lot of products that claim DNA repair on the market, ProTandem being one of them. Um, I mean, what's, what's the difference? What makes AC11 unique? Um, just simply, I th uh, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that I was going to answer, and then you added more to the question, and then it became went from simple to complicated. <laughs> um, the patented technology, the carboxy alkyl esters and the quinic alkyl esters, this, these are our active compounds. These influence these gut pathways. These are the only compounds in nature that do this. So all this anabolic nature, all this repair enzymes, all these energy compounds we're producing in the gut, those other products don't work on those pathways. We, this is, again, regulated by the body's intelligence and wisdom. You put it in, and there's a lot of plant intelligence in here with, you know, Uncaria species that's millions and millions of years old and has evolved through nature and, you know, learned how to produce phytochemicals to make it strong and resistant to nature. Uh, dimericin is a DNA repair topical enzyme, uh, company AGI Dramatics. We studied with that, did topical research with Estee Lauder and with these guys way back in 2002 to 2006. And, you know, it brought Estee Lauder out a bunch of lines with, dim uh, with the uh, AGI Dramatics. They looked at our stuff and said, wow, your stuff works a lot better than ours in the damage and repair. Theirs was a topical isolated DNA repair enzyme. Out of this broad group of enzymes, there's maybe a, a battery of five primary ones, but there's additional, you know, uh, ancillary enzymes. And so they they synthesized one of these enzymes and they'll apply it topically to get some repair with TT dimers. But it systemically and topically doesn't do nearly the job that our product does because it's it's kind of in concert with nature. And so when you're using, say, mixtures of vitamins and, you know, we had to chase down a big MLM, as I'm sure you were last year, and tell them to stop talking about our technology and put out a big lawsuit, and they, they capitulated. And the, the reason people come after us like that is because of the value of this technology. When you look at some of these other products out there, there's a little tangential benefits to some of them. Uh, some of them have been studied at all, and they're making pretty big claims for never really doing any research. And some of them have done little basic research, and it's more antioxidant research than it is. Meaning, if you're, if the, the net result of cellular and DNA damage is lessened, you almost shouldn't care whether you're taking the, a proper complement of oxidant, good food, and whatever to minimize some of that. But as far as going back and increasing the repair to old damage, those products won't do that. They can minimize future damage, but they can't go backwards and repair old damage. And that's a significant difference with this technology. So uh, I, I think that, you know, the, the primary researcher with AC11 is Dr. Ronald Pirro. He's a, started this in the mid-70s. Uh, is a grad student, uh, is a, in the early 70s, a grad student, student, and then continued. He spent his life in oncology, cancer research, looking at DNA repair pathways and how DNA damage leads to cancer. So that's where he spent his life. He published more than 300 papers. He's like well respected internationally as like a founding father in this area. And when we started in this, we, you know, I mean, when we first saw the activity from the Amazon and the early research when we were down there working with the shamans, bringing it back to University of London, we're going, wow, this is incredible. Uncaria must be the best product in the market. So we went out and we grabbed 20 Uncaria products. Most of them were alkaloid-based. We're alkaloid-free. But we started looking at all these products and we're saying, wow, there's like 5%, 3%, 7%, 12% .7 tops activity on a milligram per milligram basis that our stuff has. Why isn't there more activity in this stuff? Well, it took us a couple of years to figure it out, and that was the basis of our first patent. And then, you know, we've built on that over the years. 
But the technology we have, I mean, you could truly call our stuff vitamin DNA um, because it is a vitamin. We have a 160, 70 page paper. At some point, maybe we'll present it. Uh, but just how clearly this is AC11, these, these actives are, uh, should be classified as vitamins. And maybe someday we will go down that path. But they really are targeted for tissue and cellular repair and healing. And um, the other stuff, you know, proofs in the pudding. You know, I mean, you can claim anything you want. You know, I, I would uh, put these products up against anybody's in the industry. I mean, there's, there's, it's just we we. It's like we hit the lottery about a half a dozen times over a six-year period, and wasn't quite aware when we were we were even playing the lottery. <laughs> but uh, we we lucked out in numerous ways with this technology. That when we started as an oral supplement, we had no idea what we were uncovering. You know, I mean, this will be this will be the basis. Our our research and technology will be the basis of a whole uh, part of nutritional biochemistry and textbooks in the years to come. There's no doubt because it's it's that profound. Uh, it's that important. But I, I agree with you. When people come to me and say, hey, this other product repairs DNA and, and I'm not a scientist, but when I look at it, what they usually are good antioxidant products, but yes, I see yes. nothing in there that's actually going to go in and repair any existing damage. You're just going to help you, you know, mitigate. Minim minimize. I mean, that's, you know, we talk about it all the time. The, per the equation for perfect cellular health is a simple chemistry equation in equilibrium. You've got damage and you've got repair. And what you're trying to do is keep that at a constant so, the so your genes stay in a pristine condition and the expression of those genes is health. And that's all we're trying to do here. So if you're minimizing oxidative uh, stress and oxidative uh, uh, damage through a good diet and not, you know antioxidants and fruits and vegetables and these things and this is decreasing the damage yeah you'll age at a slower rate now on the back side if you can take the second half of that equation and significantly enhance your ability to repair uh, your reserve capacity for DNA repair you now say for example at 50 years old have 10 units of damage per day after diet, antioxidants are accounted for, you have a net 10 units of damage, and maybe at 50 you only have about 8 units of repair. So the accumulation of this damage is going to go to new generations of cells, and that damage gets sped into new generations, and that's aging. Well, what we're talking about is now you're 50 years old, you got 10 units of damage, using these products to leverage you up to 12, 13, 14 units of repair. So now you've got enough repair activity to handle the damage of today, and the body and its wisdoms goes backwards and starts cleaning up old damage, which is really cool. It's kind of like we used to call uh, IO and Purple Plus like a vacation in a bottle. And the primary reason is when you go on vacation and you do it right and you get away from stuff and you eat well, what happens? Your body recovers. You feel rested. You're, you're putting yourself back together. And that's exactly what these products do, but on a daily basis in the context of an active lifestyle. So it's, uh, it's a game changer. Um, got a question here from a holistic health and nutritional practitioner. How natural are the ingredients used in AC11 DNA repair line? Or, or I guess maybe the question is, are there synthetic ingredients in there? No, no, everything's natural. We, we, for example, with the AC11 itself, uh, we go through a whole program uh, through Flora Vida and Obama, which is environmental and also social cultural development programs. So we work closely with the Brazilian government in a, in a multitude of ways. And we're taking stuff out of the, the rainforest that we're, we're capping these vines at uh, three feet above the ground so that you don't disrupt the soil and root conditions. And, you know, when you do alkaloid products, you're ripping out the roots. And, you know, that's not what we do. So we put, you know, hundreds of thousands back into these local communities for hospital development, which is natural medicine there, roads, schools, things like this. And you have to commit to them for an extended period of time because it disrupts their normal lifestyle of, you got 200 families in a village, they go in and they're working for you for six months or a year, and then what? You know, they left their farming, they left their other businesses, now they got to go back, pick it up, it, it's disruptive. So this whole thing has to be coordinated and organized. And I think what you get with uh, the AC11 is an incredibly pure product. We use um, uh, maltodextrin as a spray drying agent, you know, an agent to dry the stuff on. But after we do the membrane filtration, which is molecular filtration, and we remove everything 10,000 Daltons or uh, molecular size or larger, and we're taking out tannins, conjugates, alkaloids, flavonoids, all these things that are disruptive and can be irritating 
long-term use, like we're intended this to be daily use for the rest of your life, you got to get all that stuff out. And the activity tends to be all these low molecular weight esters that are water soluble. So the safety margins in this are crazy high. They're really, really good. So when we take this stuff back and we'll do pesticide residues, for example, you know, I mean, we're world's contaminated in so many different ways. There's so many chemicals, so many drugs, but we'll test over 600 pesticides. You can't find a trace anywhere at the maxed out detection on it. This, this stuff is incredibly pure. Question. Question. Yes. Uh, is there a minimum age for someone to use AC11? That will be uh, more from uh, the more professional responses. We're going to do that in research. Um, right now, the answer is we put on the bottles. You know, if you're under 18, consult a physician. You know, I have three daughters that all grew up on it. You know, they're all incredibly healthy teenagers now. I've got numerous friends that use the Purple Plus, maybe a third or half cap, with a two-year-old who gets reoccurring um, conjunctivitis or sort of upper respiratory issues, cold, sniffly, and it's in like a snap. They get over this stuff within days, and it doesn't come back as long as they're using the product. So check with a pediatrician, check with a doctor. What are we talking about? We're talking about blueberry juice. We're talking about a little bit of zinc, a little bit of vitamin B3, we're talking about a little bit of vitamin D, and we're talking about AC11. So you're really talking about a low, you know, at that level, a third of a cap, half a cap, low, low dose nutrient that any pediatrician will look at it and basically say, you know, well, of course, you know, children need these things for growth and development. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not a big leap there. But again, you know, any concerns there, talk to your, talk to your pediatricians. We see teenagers benefiting from this stuff all the time with their skin, specifically acne. Well, and I think that that last question was uh, geared a little bit more towards uh, athletes in particular, high school high school aged athletes. If there'd be a benefit for them with this product, absolutely. I mean, we're, but again, we're going through NSF certification. We're doing a few other things in research that we want to do with major universities, so that when we kind of go out there mainstream and talk about high school athletics and Division One athletics and college things like this, we've got a few more targeted studies that demonstrate what we're seeing left and right. We've already proven the pathways. Now we just want to quantify it with larger groups of people. Uh, I have a, a, I guess, a disease-specific question. Have you heard of any, uh, this have any effect on Parkinson's? You know I hate disease questions. <laughs> because it's, it's, um, it's, we're, we're, all the damage has happened. Everything that is now expressing is disease. And what we're really talking about is repairing a lot of the damage so disease doesn't express. The answer is, yeah, probably. Um, and over time, we'll prove this because we're doing it in other studies because we're, we're all made up of, cell, of cells, differentiated cells. And they all have certain properties that are similar. So as we, imp it's, it's almost like you can't improve the DNA, the quality of the DNA in your left foot without doing it in your right foot or in your left hand versus your right hand. So systemically, you know, we're an entire being, you know, we're, we're made up of flesh and blood and cells. And what we're doing is targeting these repair systems that allow these uh, enzymes to run better. You know, for example, my mom's blood chemistry, 90 years old, is better than when she was 70, 75, probably more like when she was 50. She has all the markers of about a 45-year-old woman. And her bone density between 80, in 80 81, and 86 we improve more than 20%. She's getting older, we're improving her bone density, improving blood chemistry, her heart, her, you know. We're, we're taking her health in the proper direction, even though she's getting older. Systemically, she's getting healthier. And that's, I think, what I guess, so when it comes to disease, that's really what we should be talking about, is if people want to get up because they had issues with Parkinson or other things, and acknowledge that these products are helping, fine, but until we do the specific research, we really like to target on, again, this functional health medicine uh, uh, modality. But, you know, you just mentioned uh, blood work that your mom had done and some more specific. I'm just curious, what did her physician have to say about that? Was he uh, shocked? Well, yeah, I mean, they, they, here's the thing. They don't know what to do except treat with drugs, right? I mean, that's what they're trained in. They're not treat, trained to treat with nutrition. We've got over 70 nutrient deficiencies 
we do not have one drug deficiency, but in this country we give everybody drugs as if we do have a drug deficiency, and we don't. So they wanted to give her statins. She had about 190 cholesterol. And I said, what? And mom had mom's high energy. Cholesterol is one of the things that drives energy. So when you're going to disrupt and lower uh, cholesterol, possibly unnecessarily, you're decreasing someone's energy and, you know, it's harder for them to get around. So they're taking something with statins or this high energy woman and decreasing her energy so they could take a 190 down to 175. I said, you're nuts. This, you know, and we talked about it, we went through it and she got into battle with her doctor over it, but she, she went off her cholesterol, then came back down into, you know, the 170, 75 range and HDLs went up and LDLs came down and triglycerides dropped and her hearts improved, her blood sugar, you know, the things they measure to uh, quantify the condition of pancreas and blood sugar levels. I mean, again, like a young woman. And these are things that 15 years ago, the blood chemistry wasn't nearly this good. Uh, you know, we've got the test to show it. And the, the, so it's like, it, it's, it, I, I pick on doctors from time to time, but these are highly committed, highly trained people that have been taught a certain pathway, and that's what they know. When you start looking at the bigger drug companies, what are they doing now? They're getting out of research. <laughs> Sounds funny. But what they're doing is buying biotech companies that had success with a product line and building that up. They're not taking on the whole aspect of, uh, of drug development the way they used to. It's changing. The whole model's changing. They're, they're, they're acquiring companies with the technology rather than doing it themselves because the price of drugs needs to come down because it's bankrupting the country. So the only way they can do it is through these methodologies, taking small, innovative companies, building technology, and evaluating it, deciding there's value, and incorporating it. What they did before is they had 10 teams doing that that was hot, incredibly expensive. And maybe one of them would bear fruit. But that was the model. So we're, we're and they're getting more and more. I mean, drug companies are buying things. They just, one of them just, Pfizer just bought uh, Emergency, Allerser. You know, I mean... It, the world's changing. You know, they're recognizing the functional medicine is the, the future and the gene expression. Ultimately, what's going to happen is people are going to be able to show that the nutrients you put in the body affect gene health and gene expression and, and the, dr the damage drugs are doing. And it's, the future isn't bright for them. So they're all trying to transition now. And they're smart. And they're smart, committed people. The model, I think, got upside down. But the... Uh, the, the com people I'm dealing with now that are medical researchers and doctors that are highly committed people are changing their practices over the last 10 years and they're getting into alternative medicine and they're getting into targeted things and they're getting new educations, but they have passion for healing. They, they, they get, they're tired of seeing sick people and not having an impact on their lives other than maybe keeping them alive. It's, it, it's hard. That's, it's, that's heavy. That's heavy stuff. Oh, and, and I think you're right. Uh, we had a meeting yesterday with a, a surgical group here in town, and they were talking about that same thing, that, that the shift needs to be away from treating sickness and more towards helping people be healthy to begin with, you know. Let's yep. be proactive for a change. So. Um, oh, here's a question. What, what are some of the most common benefits that you hear uh, from people that are on AC11? I know we've, we've discussed hearing already, but what are some of the other ones? Well, the, the primary ones, I wouldn't say that's a common one. That's an occasional one, the, the hearing, because we're not really talking to people about that. Um, but I would say that uh, better mood, a lot more energy, especially if you're active, like even if you're just riding a bicycle or working out twice a week at the gym, uh, physically recovering much faster, whether you're working out again or just aches and pains, inflammation, uh, whether it's asthma, psoriasis, uh, gut uh, inflammation, bowel, you know, uh, distress, things of this nature uh, are where people really talk about it. Have had people with significant shoulder and hip injuries through the years, and what they're really talking about, and this is all medically supervised, uh, the going from desperate, can't do surgery, overweight, obese, you know, all these different issues, they get on these products and it helps regulate the things the lead to obesity, they get healthier, they start losing weight, hip heals, and off they go. Now they're running and racing and biking, no hip surgery. So these are almost like fairy tales. Uh, 20 years ago, this stuff didn't happen. And now we're able to understand that body a lot better, again, what to get in and target it. So from mood enhancement to energy to uh, just profoundly changing the quality of your life. We have uh, doctors using this now in couple counseling. 
because what happens is when you get over 50, 55, energy starts to decrease. You're gaining weight. You're becoming less functional. You're getting moody. You're less happy. You're breaking down. You're getting old. And relationships fall apart. And so what's happening is when they start using these products in couple relationships, they're starting to lose weight, get more energetic, be in a better mood, starting to feel a little more spiritual, a little bit more in their own skin again, and they find intimacy again. So we've got doctors and psychologists using this stuff in couples therapy, which blows me away. But they started using it, they saw what it did for their relationship, and they, they brought it into their practice. So again, these are natural ways to help the body do what it does and is designed to do, and that's heal itself. Got to get the right stuff in there. Yeah. I'm sensing a new product, Love Potion number nine, coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> is the product okay for athletes that fall under world anti-doping regulations? Uh, absolutely. We go through all the different things right now with the leagues. We're going to do uh, some certifications down the road, but we've already put, for example, like Isle and Purple Plus and Purple Caps in front of committees that run uh, major sports, and uh, they uh, they sign off on it because the athletes have to go in they look at the ingredients, they look at anything they have doubts about, they ask questions, and then they, they acknowledge it to them with letters and stuff that, yes, you can use these products. There's no compounds in our, in the Purple Plus, the Purple Caps, or Isle. Those are, those are the only products I'm speaking about. Those three. Um, just out of curiosity, you didn't mention strips. Is there something about strips? That uh, nope. I just don't think about strips as much anymore. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> Sorry. And, and, I, and I believe you probably answered this question already, but someone's asked, uh, would you increase your daily dosage if it was like post-accident or injury that you were trying to recover from? Absolutely. There's pronounced damage. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I mean, think about it. When I was in high school or college, they used to say, you know, you, you, you burned yourself or you had a, a, a cut injury, a knife injury, you know, something like this. Uh, you take extra zinc and vitamin C. C promotes collagen production, tissue repair, and zinc promotes healing. But the if you look in any book and it says zinc promotes healing, nobody ever really took that backwards to say, oh, really what it's doing is it's a finger for a lot of these DNA repair enzymes, and it's an essential component that needs to be in our body for the body to sufficiently repair and recover from injury. What's... Um Another question here, what's the major difference between IO and Purple Plus? We, we put IO together before Terry and BHIP got involved. And it was done specifically with stem cell research and a stem cell research com based company. And what we were doing is looking at our own adult stem cells that are produced in our long bones. These are replacement parts. What can we do because what was happening is when, when you get older, over 45 even, 40, 45, your, your stem cells start to carry damage. So when they morph into new tissue, they're just bringing damage with them. So you're, it's like you're replacing old parts with old parts. So what they wanted to do is target how do we address your own stem cells to keep them in more of a pristine nature so when it's their job now to morph into a new heart cell, a new lung cell, a new kidney cell, that they don't bring damage with them. So we looked at that as a nutraceutical for that. And what we found is that type of promotion of health and stem cells, uh, specifically enhanced DNA repair. We've got carnosine in there that's great for brain activity. There's a lot of additional nutrients in there that are great for blood sugar. Uh, the chromiums, the manganese, organic manganese from all the berries and stuff in there, two milligrams per ounce. All this stuff is great for ligaments, great for tendons. So if you're, I would say, over 45 and you're not getting the jolt, and then noticing the benefits of Purple Plus or Purple Caps, get on the aisle. You'll notice it. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more horsepower, and it's a broader spectrum product, but again, a, more of a targeted uh, product for uh, stem cell health, your own adult stem cells, and DNA repair. Um, and, and, but I've noticed that IO actually has less AC11 in it, I believe, right? Per ounce, yeah. Hence, a lot of people that use IO take the Purple Caps with it. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, got one here. Has there been any research done in regards to the product, uh, its uh, ability to affect cataracts? No, but I've, I've, again, that's one of those things I've had good anecdotal reports on different people with those types of issues. But I, uh, I, we, we, again, we're really trying to target functional medicine, health, energy, vitality, things of this nature. 
and staying away from the disease process. When we hear of these things, it's only because people are getting the benefits because their, their bodies are healing. Um, but it's not anything we've targeted in research. Um, and now, th and this is kind of a, a, a big question, so I don't know if there's an easy answer to it. I think really what's being asked in this next question is, do you, what's the mechanism? In other words, I ingest AC11. What's it doing inside my body to cause repair to my DNA? Well, there's about 15 different pathways that we've studied al already. One of them, again, are, are these gut pathways with uh, increasing the DNA repair proteins and enzymes. Another is decreasing single strand breaks. Other is decreasing double strand breaks. Another is increasing serum thiols significantly. Serum thiols are like glutathione. Glutathione are real good biomarkers. When you're 80 years old, you have high uh, serum glutathione levels. You're healthy, tend to be very healthy and vibrant. When you're very low, you're probably not alive, but if you have relatively low, you, you have more disease expressing and more aches and pains and things. The glutathione is an internal antioxidant system that really helps us recover and detoxify, get rid of some damage. Serum thiols are on the same path. We did about 2,000 people in different serum thiol studies like with AIDS and host of very serious disease and the closer you are to death, the lower your serum thiols. The healthier you are, the higher your serum thiols. What AC11 does is elevate serum thiols. There's a couple ways it does it, but it's a whole lesson in biochemistry. But these are, these are endpoints that we're measuring and quantifying. We look at 8-hydroxyguanine. We look at DNA adducts. These are all markers that if you have damage, more damage, uh, you're going to see more of these adducts out there. And if you have less damage, you'll see less adducts. So when you're taking our products, you see less adducts because there's less damage. So we're measuring it in every way known. There's, there's ways that we'll be measuring now. Like when we started with the auditory study, who knew? I didn't know that. Um, they found us. They, and we worked, did research with them for three years. I didn't know those path, that I didn't know those properties of the auditory nerve cells. It was a whole education for me. So people keep coming to us and finding us and want to say, hey, you know, if it's working here, 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 and here, how can it not work here? Because these are similar pathways, and that's how a lot of this research happens, kind of organically, because uh, people understand how something breaks, but they don't know how to fix it. And all of a sudden, they're looking at our stuff and say, well, if it's fixing these things, maybe it'll fix our stuff too. And, and that's how we're getting into the research. But I think I've given, uh, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put up, uh, because it's, with all these pathways, it cut, you need a little explanation, even if it's a sentence or two. I've done it in letters over the recent months to heads of these research foundations, you know, going through point by point by point, because it just, it, you know, it just targets things that we've looked at. And every single thing, you know, this is what amazes me. I mean, this is truly what amazes me. In 16 years of research on this technology, with 45 plus published and some unpublished, most of them published studies, what we see in every single aspect that we've studied is moderate to significantly enhanced DNA repair. We never have seen toxicity. We've never seen any negative value. We've never seen a non-reaction, uh, a study where, well, it didn't really work here. And when you go through all the data and you keep lining up all these different endpoints and all these different pathways that would get us there, everything just keeps pointing to the same place, enhanced DNA repair, which every medical researcher out there will tell you, like I said earlier, whether it's stem cells or immunologists, brain researchers, everybody tells you, enhance, figure out a way to enhance the value of your DNA repair and you leverage your entire life. And, you know, that's what we're up to. Um. At, at this point, we've got a few minutes left. Uh, is there anything you want to share with us that we didn't ask you about? Uh, no, I think I'm, I'm amazed some days where this thing has gotten to. Uh, I read an article in 1991. I keep it in my briefcase, and I have it with me here because my briefcase is next to me. And it's Repair Kit for DNA Saves Cells from Chaos. It was in the Science Times, New York Times, June 4th, my birthday, 1991. That wasn't my birth year, <laughs> just my birthday. And um, what, what happens is the lights in my head went off. Like if you could ever find technology that was – because I immediately I saw the value to that. It's like, but how do you get there? It was six years later meeting Dr. Pirro, starting this whole journey. I mean, who knew? But the point is that – it's a uh, it, these are pathways that keep getting validated. We keep putting the science in front of the smartest people on the planet in this, these fields 
They love it. We've been published by Nova Science in a definitive book on DNA damage and repair. Our technology is shown as a solution against 12 chapters showing damage and disease. It's just, I didn't say the solution, I said a solution. And um, it's, it's just pretty remarkable. I mean, when we started, we started as an oral dietary supplement. Now we know we have all this wonderful value to the skin, both when you take it orally and apply it topically. The Internet or Beauty Package is addressing both of these things. As you know, as you know, I think we got some new stuff in the pipeline here, and pretty soon there's going to be a lot of, lot of, lot of really good things. And with the new stuff, uh, you know, I, I grew up playing competitive golf, a lot of different sports, but just tons of sun damage. And I, you know, I got four different grandparents, but one of them were, was from Ireland, the other from England. So there's some fair skin in there. And so sun damage would show up, but in the is in the last two months of utilizing the stuff on the back of my hands, and this is sun damage, UV damage, uh, DNA damage, sixty percent, seventy percent's gone away. I'm over fifty. This is crazy. I mean, you just you don't expect to see your body respond and heal that way. It's it's pretty nutty. So anyway, there's just there's just uh, our efforts continue. We're building research. We're building incredible research alliances, uh, network alliances globally. And as we go through this process, it's the commitment is probably stronger now today to this technology than it was 16 years ago, by far. So we're not getting smaller or older. We're getting newer and better. And with the recent patents and all the existing patents we have, just so everybody understands, this gives us patent protection on the actives and DNA uh, repair uh, with all plant species until 2026 minimum. So, you know, we got a lot of years of protection here, and people should be emboldened by that, not only by the research, but the fact that they're out there and people can't jump into our actives in our space or sell the same stuff. No, I, I appreciate your hard work. You're giving us a good head start in the rest of the world. So now it's just up to us to go out there and, and, and take the product to the street, so to speak. Dr. Worth, thank you very much. Join us today. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Well, hopefully, hopefully next time we'll do this in the winter, so we can entice you to come out and, and be with us here on site. But well, I had an event last night, and I've got an event Monday and Tuesday, and I just didn't know how to get out there and get back. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, Phil Mickelson with my private jet, you know. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Yeah, we're working on that for you. So, all, all right, right, take all care. Right. Have a great day. All right, you guys. Yeah, too. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank <laughs> you.